now with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, some of you had a little shower activity earlier this evening, but all in all, it hasn't been a bad one across the area. Matter of fact, tonight we are off to a warmer start across the area. Here's a live look from high atop the Radisson as we look back towards Great American Paul Bark, Ballpark and Paul Brown Stadium. There are temperatures at this hour on a milder note. Matter of fact, for many of us, they're still hanging near 70. We're at 69 degrees at the airport. We've got a southwesterly breeze at around 3. Not only is it a little bit milder, it's also a tiny bit muggier. You know, it's really hard to call it muggy in July when we've been dealing with these absolutely terrific weather conditions, particularly when it comes to even the dew point. It's still down there in the upper 50s, so it's still very comfortable no matter how you slice it across the area tonight, but a little bit warmer than it has been. All right, let me show you what happened earlier today. Showers and storms blew up, especially along and north of the Ohio River, and there's still some that are north of I-70, but we're done with the rain for the rest of the night around here. This is expected. Those storms Pretty much went away once the sun set. Let me show you temperatures 64 up in Connorsville, same story in Oxford. Versailles is at 64, so is Vivi. 70, though, still at Loveland. Mason at 69, 67 Alexandria, oh, 66 in Falmouth, 62 over in Peebles right now. So, again, much milder tonight. You may remember several nights ago at this time, many of you were way down there into the 50s already. So, that should give you kind of a clue that. We are headed for a warming trend the next couple of days. Well, I did a little digging here through some of the books, and I thought, why not come up with some summer fun facts? Because these are some interesting numbers here as we get ready to close out the month of July. When you think about it, our average number of 90 degree days in a year is about 21. So far this year, we've only had three, and all three of those days have occurred here between June and now the month of July. Look at this the average number of 90 degree days between June and August is 18. We've only had three so far, so that means we've got a lot of ground to make up during the month of August in terms of getting those numbers of 90 degree days up. And I can tell you, for at least the next five to seven, I don't see 90 degree days. And you know what? We're about to close out the month. Of July. Right now, it looks like this is going to go down as the fourth coolest July on record for us here in the tri state. So, again, it's not your imagination. It has been just that cool. 55 tonight. It looks like the low in Brookville, 56 in Connorsville. Most areas into the upper 50s, mid to upper 50s, between 55 and 60. So, no record lows tonight. And then tomorrow, the warming trend continues. Afternoon highs will finally rebound into the 80s for many of us, low 80s. But again, for the end of July, that's not bad at all. Here's a look at Futurecast. You can see the clouds eventually will go away overnight tonight. I think this is a little overdone, but it's indicative of the fact that even tomorrow, while most of us will enjoy a rain free day, I would not completely rule out another stray shower across the area tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise, it should be a pretty nice day. 57 for a low tonight. It should be quiet the remainder of the night. And then tomorrow, expect sunny skies, a high in the low 80s, around 82. Here's your day planner for your Thursday 60 at 8 a.m., up to 77 by lunchtime, into the low 80s with warm sunshine in the afternoon. Again, could see a stray shower. The next best chance for rain, though, really won't get in here until the weekend on Saturday. Otherwise, Mike and Cherie, the temperatures notice we continue to slowly climb more towards summer like numbers as we head into next week. All right, Kevin, thank you, boy. Um,